Point two two is out, and welcome to Kerbal Space Program. I thought this would be out last night at midnight. I was gonna get my hands on it, and I was gonna have some Let's Play videos by early this morning. However, that did not happen, and they finally came out, and they released them around three or four o'clock Central Time. I think because their offices are in New Mexico. Still not sure about that, but either way, they finally got them out, and I just not just now got around to checking them out. So let's check them out together. We'll go ahead and start up a whole new career mode. Well, cylinder development, but halfway career mode. Put my channel name, delete time, and pick the greatest flag of all time, Texas. Now, right away, you're going to notice a big change here. I saw this in a video already. They smushed together everything, which looks good. It makes it look more like a solid one big complex. Uh, still not sure about all this honeycomb effect going on, but it looks good, especially the new R&D center. Mm, looks so good. And if I'm not going crazy, I think they just added in the background for this astronaut complex as well. Maybe. I might be going crazy. Let me know. Uh, and then the R&D center, of course, brand new. They've got a... Okay, yeah, you've got your starting parts here. We've got the command pod, the tiny crappy one, along with its uh, crappy engine. And uh, the small fu fuel booster, small fuel tank. Uh, the modular girder segment, which is going to be useless for a while. And then the Communitron 16, which is the old antenna, but... Uh, yeah, it has a purpose now. It's got packet size and transmission intervals, and I'm not sure what the effect they'll have on gameplay yet. I'll have to see still. And then once we get uh, five science, we can unlock these four parts, which are the small fuel tank, the smaller fuel tank, the mystery goo containment unit, which yeah. This is the, yeah, you bring this into space with you, or whatever planet, and you observe the goo in the container, gets you some data. And then a decoupler. Awesome. Stack decoupler. So we need to get that right off the bat. So we're going to go ahead and send some Kerbals, cur yeah, Kerbals, just right on the surface to examine some data on the launch pad. And that will give us a good boost so we can go from there in uh not waste time flying too many flights, too many small flights that so won't get us much data. So we're gonna get Jebediah here, take him out onto the launch pad. Oh, he's so cute. Good old Jebediah. We're gonna get him to do a surface sample. The surface is charred and coated with burnt rocket propellant. There are also trace amounts of a conspicuous green substance, which I am guessing is dead Kerbal. Hmm. A lot of, uh, look at some 30, I guess it, I don't know what mitts is, I don't know if that's a lot or a little, but 30, 30 mitts, and we got a 9 scientific value out of that, and as you can see there's a transmit data button, but since we have no transmission dish or antenna or anything on our Kerbal, it's only at 50% of the value if we transmit it now, so we're going to keep the data and take it back to our pod, but before we do that we're going to do an EVA report as well. <laughs> True that. Uh, he's wondering why he needed this spacesuit. Uh, eight mitts. So yeah, thirty is a. You get a lot more from taking a surface sample than just observing. With another uh, two point four scientific value, we'll keep that data also and head back to the pod. We'll get into it. Not sure how he fits in that, but he does. It's science, and I'm gonna go to the tracking center. And recover our untitled spacecraft. Yes, I want to recover this. Oh, here we go, the new window for uh, science summary, which says our surface sample from the launch pad, the data gain, science value, in the EVA report, plus 11.4 science, rounded it down, son of a bitch, to 11. Okay, also now, we're going to unlock this tech tree, get our new parts, and we got three more branches. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, uh, three parts in each, because that little circle, and the general rocketry is the top, and we get the uh, another fuel engine. We get a Cepatron one, okay, and then we get a uh, solid fuel, a bigger fuel booster. Cool, cool, cool. 
nose cone, winglet don't really matter right now. I'm not doing any planes anytime soon. Uh, then we get the radial decoupler, which we're going to need to add on uh, to make our rockets able to get some serious altitude. And then lastly, we've got the smaller fuel engine. Landing struts that look new. I don't recognize that picture. And then the good old radial parachute. And these are 15 science, 18 science, and 20. Okay, so they're different values also. And these unlock costs, uh, I'm not sure how steep that's going to be. We'll have to see, or if that even affects us right now. I don't know anything about this unlock cost, so I'll we'll have to check that out as we go. So we're going to go into the space plane hangar here, and I'm going to build a little rocket that will take us into low carbon atmosphere. Just really simple, real quick. We'll shove the Mystery Goo Containment Unit on it, and we're also going to throw on a parachute so he lives. We gotta spare at least a few Kerbals. Awesome, we're just gonna blast this off real quick. Gather some basic data from a high altitude, and then uh, use that to unlock some more tech tree. Goodies. SCS is on. Don't need to throttle up anything. Oh god, I forgot to do that. Oh, oh lordy, revert flight to launch. Forgot to change out the what spacebar does, the stages. Whoopsie. Please forgive me. Okay. Well, anyways, with that under our belt, SES is on. There we go. Oh, we just ran out of fuel. Jebediah is still happy about it. We're going to keep going until we reach maximum altitude, and then we're going to take some data readings. 14,000 meters. We just gained speed somehow. Weird. Oh, now we're slowing down. Okay. Uh, 16,017. We'll go ahead and start reading. Observe the mystery goo. Goo jiggles as well as a cleft. Okay. Eh. Still a lot of scientific value. We'll keep that data. And then we'll get a crew report real quick before we fall to our death. Tiny amount. The shores are confiding, and you watch the waves roll into the coast. That's really cool how it's a context sensitive like that. Very cool. I thought it would just be the generic, oh, look at the sky. But that's pretty cool. Very cool. I wonder how much of that they put into the game. It'll be interesting to find out here. So I'm gonna let this fast forward as we fall back to Earth, and I will see y'all in a minute. Here we come in for a nice gentle landing. Well, at least the mystery goo survived. Maybe it will uh, save our goo. Doubt it. Time to recover this. Alright, we're back at the tracking center. Gonna recover yet another untitled spacecraft. Yes, we wanna recover this. Damn it. Since our goo separated from the craft, we didn't uh, we didn't retain its scientific uh, value because we didn't transmit it and we didn't bring it back. Even though technically it's sitting on the surface right next to our capsule. Alright. Crew port flying over. See, more context sensitivity. That's pretty cool. Recovery of vessel that survived the flight. So that gives its own value in our crew report. But no dadgum goo. 14 science will take it. That'll get us the radial decouplers we need in order to make a bigger rocket. So let's go do that. Okay, so we're back in the R&D lab where we got 14 science, which I just realized is not enough to get us what we need. We need 18. Son of a gun. Back to the launch pad. I wonder if we can just get, gather more data right off the launch pad. Or if we have just old data, we don't need that. Or maybe we can just go ahead and go into the... Uh, we're gonna do that. We're just gonna send her into low orbit. 
hopefully, we're going to attach the goo to the capsule so we don't lose it this time. Yeah, that's exactly what we'll do. So I'm going to build this, and uh, I'll rejoin y'all in a minute. Okay, welcome back. As you can see, um, I don't know if this is going to make it. I don't know if we have enough, uh, enough power, so... SAS on. Let's see if we can get this thing to a low orbit. Nope, oh, that oh, Okay, that's good. Okay, so we're hitting 11,000. Uh, it's a little late, but I'm gonna go ahead and Give this thing a 90 degree angle here. Uh, if I can do that, this thing's really unstable. Ah, uh, come on, 90 degree line. Okay, well, that's interesting. Anyways, we made it, which is good. And. Uh, intact. Jebediah's happy, we're happy. Oh, I did uh, use one mod, confession. I uh, changed the background uh, of space because it was really boring and ugly before. And if you want the link to that mod, just go ahead and ask. Uh, I should, I'll, actually, I'll put it in the description. But it's great. It looks really beautiful. It takes a lot more uh, texture capacity or uh, RAM for your video RAM. So... That is one thing to consider. Anyways, let's go ahead and uh, wait till we get up pretty high out here. Wait till we get to Rapoapsis, and then we're going to go ahead and check the mystery goo. So, I'm going to fast forward this. Can't do that one. Throttle it up. Throttle down. Fast forwarding. And Apoapsis. Okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and check out the mystery goo. And... Only 10 minutes? Clumpy and Sphere also has become brittle. Cool. But it's got 10 value. Okay, so the data size doesn't really correlate to the data value. Crew report. Seems we are very much in space right now. The sky seems to be mostly below us. Very astute observation. We're getting a 100% transmit rate right now, which is pretty impressive. So... But can I transmit it? I don't think I can. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward it again and uh, decouple this and bring us in for a nice soft landing either here or in the ocean. We'll see what happens. See you soon. Excellent. They're coming in for a splashdown and perfect. Goo containers intact. Capsules intact. Jebediah is still alive. Great news. So let's go ahead and recover this. Back in the tracking center. Let's go ahead and recover yet again our untitled spacecraft. Yes, okay. Mystery goo. TM. Observation unit. While in space near Kerbin. Awesome data value. Great. Recovery vessel for a suborbital flight, so there's more data gathered from that. Still suborbital. Crew report while in space near Kerbin. Awesome. Great. Great. We got 23 science, but we got 37 overall. Maybe that's gathered versus... I don't know. Weird. I don't know about that. But I'll take it. Done. So we'll go back to the tech tree right now, and we're going to check out what we can unlock. Okay, general rocketry. Oh, we need the decouplers. That's right, so we can get further on. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the decouplers for 18, which unlocks us eight more parts. General construction. Keep things stable. Uh, the strut connector. Very viable. Awesome. 
the better decoupler, and the tricoupler. And then we got some flight control mechanics, including these two worthless things we're not going to use while flying in space. Semi-useful. And uh, a reaction wheel. Okay. And 19 more science left. I think we're going to need the bigger boosters and the better engine. Uh, yes, I'm going to go with that. Research that for not nah, one less. Ugh. Ugh. Disappointing. But since we can probably make it to the moon right now anyway, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this pack for the struts and the smaller fuel engine so we can land on the moon. Cool. Which also unlocks science tech, which are batteries. Oh, I forgot we have no way of getting power yet. And then science junior, self-contained laboratory, new part. And another new part, comms DTS M1, a better Trandaddy transmission system along with a laboratory to bring with us into space. Very cool. Very cool. All this is very exciting. Uh, I am going to go ahead and uh, make the next video. But I'm going to go ahead and cut this one off here. Uh, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think. Let me know what I need to improve or fast forward through. And if you like it, go ahead and subscribe. There will be a lot more of these where this came from. Thanks again, guys.